Are you ready for your mama to come outside? I'm almost ready to come out. Almost. We had rain again overnight. This morning when we woke up, it was raining pretty heavy. You're adorable. Yeah, I'm really ready, guys. I guess I'm tired of coming back in for the second set of bowls, and I'm trying to carry everything out at one time again. Hi, Tux. That's a good boy. Hi. Hello. Hi, Morris. Good morning. I hear you telling me good morning, too. Hi. Tux, come here, bud. Come here, Tux. Stripey, I put your food in the cat hotel. Morris is over there eating. Can I assist you in getting to your food? Come on. I know that's your spot and everything, but Morris is over here eating, and he shares. Hi, Morris. It's okay, honey. Here you go, Stripey. Here you go. Good boy. Let's see, how much did we get? Two tenths. I'll go ahead and empty it. That's what I see there, though. Two tenths. Uh, close to two tenths, Donnie. Wow. Yeah, the, not insignificant. Not, no, that's pretty cool. So we got spaghetti on our printer for yeah. like the worst spaghetti ever. ever. I don't know what in the world. Well, the smooth plate is not going to adhere probably as good as the textured That's one. Right. Smooth plates. I like but the, the shamrocks plate. printed like butter. Yeah. I don't know. We were trying to print an Easter peep. Yeah, I'm going to inspect it to try to see if I can diagnose what went wrong, if anything. Right. I'm not going to reprint that one right now, though. I'm going to I'm going to print a known print that worked well. I want the textured plate on with glue, please. Thank you. I am doing my normal Tuesday stuff today. So I gotta stay moving here. Well, the big cell of rain has passed us to the east. And um, I guess I don't see any reason why we can't walk. So let's go walk after I feed Gray. Good morning, Gray. Hi, honey. Oh, that's such a good girl. Hi. Hi, sweetie pea. We've got rain gear if we need it right now. Thankfully, it's not raining. It feels pretty nice out here. There's a 5 to 10 mile an hour breeze and... It's not too hot. No sun beating down on us. It, it's pretty nice walking conditions, actually. This is our first pogo loop. Oh, wow. That's not a um, turkey vulture up there. That's a hawk. Let me try to zoom in on him. It's just not as easy to zoom with this camera. Yep, he's up there drying his uh, his wings. I've never seen him on one of the poles over here before, so. All right. There's Ruby, ready to go. I think I've got a 10 minute cushion today. That's good, especially with wet roads. Yeah, it's 10.17. That's great for a leave time. There's Ruby saying she's on 12.5.2.1. So she's technically caught up to Jules. Let's pull up the release notes. Um, the 3D print stuff from earlier, the spaghetti. Uh, first off, the, the print I printed before, it's printing great. Um, the printer doesn't seem to be having any issues. I think it was the print profile or it was a glitch in the matrix with the z-axis so i'll try that print again but at any point the printer's good it's printing it's all good so it doesn't say a lot here um earlier and more natural lane changes vision only driving monitor with sunglasses is oh those are upcoming okay so anyway this is the one that merged the stacks it doesn't it doesn't say much much else um no surprise um the torquing the flashing the nagging the warnings they're the same as they were um on the prior level of fsd since i don't have a cabin camera 
I guess I would, they're not going to tell us I, I get that, but I guess I wish they would update us on what. Yeah, there's a dump truck up there and nobody's moving at the speed limit, 10 below, and the guy in the Lincoln in front of me, he is. All three of those guys are tailgating the dump truck. Me, I'll just. There was a change in behavior at this intersection to turn left onto Highway 55. She uh, was going to stay in the right turn lane instead of getting the left one. She's regularly, every time, been getting in the left one. And that was behind the dump truck. I don't know what's going on today, but there are 30 or 40 extra cars in this parking lot, so... You know me, I had to take Ruby down to the end. Hopefully it's not pouring when I come back outside. So this silver car that I'm following here, I believe they're going to throw a piece of trash out the window. Let's see here. The passenger side. Let's see. And let's see. There it went. Yep. I appear to be having some sort of SD card issue today, but the videos I'm filming are still recording. I don't know. There's a write speed error. I pray I don't lose content. I'm headed over to uh, Guardian Angel Apex now. I don't have a spare with me unless I take the one out of the dash cam. I think after today's incident, having a spare. In I couldn't get any closer today. Oh, well. These are one piece. How interesting. I have these Garfield mugs. The ND means no discount, means the typical applicable buy one get one free doesn't count for those. It's a really pretty pattern, but the colors for some reason look more muted than I think they should. Otherwise, I might have had to get that Corel. It's a really nice quality blanket. I strongly considered it. There is quite a bit of new Halloween stuff that I certainly enjoyed looking through. I found one small Lee Max thing. Spooky Town for Michelle. It was a boring day for EVs here. I really didn't see much in the lot and especially didn't see any Tesla EVs. I bought three small items in there. And that's it. As I was coming into the Whole Foods parking lot, I feel certain I passed the Cadillac Lyric. It was kind of a green tinted gray color. Anyway, I'm here. All right, they are really having fun decorating for Halloween. The cakes look great. And check out this guy. That's awesome too. I did read this morning that the uh, Turnpike is supposed to open tomorrow. I learned on Facebook yesterday that this little garden spot on the corner here is called Need More Farms. They have uh, somebody in there telling stories on the weekends through uh, Halloween. They probably close down after Halloween. That's when most of the garden centers here, except those that sell Christmas trees and ornaments, is when most of them close down for the season. <clears throat> I've always wanted to stop in and I just never do one of these days when Don and I are coming by yeah so in Ruby I'm seeing the speed I'm going and I'm seeing the speed I've told Ruby to go but I'm not seeing the speed limit sign in Jules I get to see the speed I'm going and the speed limit sign but I can't see the, the home speed now I yeah I got a big smile <laughs> on my face Don had to apparently go get a crown glued back on. That's right. I this. popped it off last night when I was flossing my teeth. Yeah, apparently I was heavily engrossed in some things and Don That's didn't right. want to bother me with the fact that this crown came off. So this morning I'm sitting, I'm on my way to the chiropractor. I just got there or something and cabin overheat goes off for Jules. I get this message and I'm like, oh my God, the garage is on fire. How can cabin overheat? I made what I think is good progress on the Haunted Victorian. These are the steps and this is the bowed window and a couple more windows over here. Uh, it's coming along nicely. 
I might end up um, pulling out some of the tiled floor to put in some spooky stuff, some furniture, some insides. I'm not sure. Uh, there's no hint at inside stuff for this build. I made these pylons foundation supports twice as wide as they need to be so I can continue the floor out this way. But for now, you know, this is what the house has. And I also substituted two by fours instead of other size reddish brown bricks because it was a little cheaper to tile the floor with the larger planks. And um, I think it's going to look fine. So I guess there's a support of some type going here and had me leave these holes. Anyway, um, that was tonight's progress and I'm going to go cook dinner now.